Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Monday. Hope you all had a good weekend. You, Susan? I did. How about you? Very quiet. Oliver turned one years old. One of the news hounds. Little birthday party. They <laughs> grow up so fast, <laughs> don't they? And the weather felt like summer. Yeah, it Running did. Running around in shorts all weekend. It was a good weekend all around. Yeah, I think so, too. So, here we are on Monday. Yes, breaking, we are. Breaking news at four. There are now charges against a 30-year-old man who hit a car in Middleton Saturday night, killing three high school students. The Dane County mask mandate has been extended until November 5th. So what's new this time around? And the wolf hunt quota has been set. It's much lower than many expected. Let's take a look outside. A little humid out there today. A little drizzly at times. Foggy. Cloudy, but still mild. Getting warmer. In fact, Dana's out in the backyard patio with the details on that. Oh. I think that should say cloudy and mild outside because that's kind of where we're at right now, guys. Uh, cloudy sky for us and mild temperatures, a smidge above average for the next few days. Here's a live look over Madison with this cloudy sky. And, and right now we do have a little bit of drizzle coming down, enough that uh, you can feel it, but not enough that our radar is really picking it up for Madison. Temperatures in the upper 60s currently with dew points in the low 60s, so it does just feel a little humid. It will have some patchy fog for us overnight. Most of the rain as you look at our Doppler track oh, off to the east, right now in Michigan, but not seeing much passing through southern Wisconsin. Temperatures generally pretty close to 70 for us this evening and overnight because of this cloudy sky, we won't drop too much, only down to the upper 50s for overnight lows again with that patchy fog likely for early Tuesday morning. Another mostly cloudy sky tomorrow, another mild afternoon high staying pretty close to 70 for us for for much of the week and we'll continue this above average trend stretching even into the following week. But we'll take a closer look at that 10 day in just a few right now, as far as traffic is concerned, the Beltline uh, overall looks fairly smooth. The east and westbound, we aren't seeing any major hiccups for us downtown. And the interstate for, for Rock County right now uh, looks pretty good, as well as downtown Janesville. From the Beltline to Janesville, 25 minutes. Quick 16-minute drive to get from Middleton to Sox City. And the same goes for downtown to Sun Prairie this evening. Again, we'll take a closer look at your full 10-day and any more rain chances that might be trying to creep into the area in just a few minutes. All right, Dana, thank you. First at four, Charges are pending against a 30-year-old Madison man that was involved in a crash over the weekend that killed three students. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says that driver rear-ended a car carrying the students, causing their car to crash into a cornfield and burst into flames. Simon Balesi was a Madison West High School student, while Jack Miller and Evan Cradlewell attended Middleton High School. Our Brad Hamilton is live tonight along Mineral Point Road, where a memorial honoring these young lives continues to grow. Brad? Yeah, Susan, it does continue to grow, and we've seen so many people come here to remember and pay the respects of those three young students that lost their lives on Saturday night. People of all ages have been coming to bring flowers, candles, and personal items to remember the lives of Simon Balesi, Jack Miller, and Evan Cradwell. All three of those people tragically died on Saturday, and it's, it's hard to imagine because of how young they were, just high school students. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says another driver rear-ended the boy's car, sending it into a cornfield and starting it on fire. Madison West's principal asked that everyone in the community please keep all the friends and family that are involved in this in your prayers. We also heard from Middleton's high school principal also releasing a statement today saying that each of these students were bright lights and that their loss will impact their students and staff profoundly. Now, we got a chance to speak with a man earlier today who lives just nearby and heard and saw the aftermath of this horrible crash. We all came on our deck and we we're looking at it and we're praying that there's nobody in there if it's a car. We're just praying. I'm hoping and I'm just telling my kids and my wife, I hope there's nobody there. Again, Dane County authorities say charges are pending against the 30 year old Madison man involved in this crash. He remains in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Now we do know that grief counseling was available for all of these students that are having to deal with the aftermath of this and it really is. Uh, well, <laughs> it's got me emotional. Uh, it's hard to see, you know, they're they're young kids and they're going through it. So uh, live in Middleton, Brad Hamilton, who's through now.
It's a tragic situation. Brad, thank you so much. Two people were killed last night when an Amish buggy was hit by a minivan. It happened near Highway 35 and Highway 81 in the township of B-Town in Grant County. The Sheriff's Department says a 33-year-old Lancaster man was westbound when he hit the buggy that was carrying five people. 52-year-old Linda Miller and 12-year-old Daniel Miller were pronounced dead at the scene. Three others, including a 7-year-old and a 14-year-old, were all flown to Madison with life-threatening injuries. And both of the horses died in the crash. 2021 is almost over, but the fight against COVID-19 is not. That's why Dane County is extending its mask mandate. The current mandate was set to expire on Friday. Our Brady Mallory joins us with how much longer you'll have to cover your face in public. Brady? Well, public health officials are extending the mask mandate into early next month. This latest order will be in effect until Friday, November 5th. Now, there are no changes in the order. Everyone over the age of two is required to wear masks inside buildings. Dane County officials say nearly 85% of the eligible population ages 12 and older have received at least one dose of a vaccine. Health officials continue to urge people to get vaccinated and say that is the best way to keep fighting COVID-19. The latest coronavirus data from the county shows a total of 78 people currently hospitalized in Dane County and one additional death since the last update on Friday. And the county also recorded 219 new cases since Friday. We have what you need to know about the latest mask mandate extension on our website, channel3000.com. Brady, thank you. UW Health says that nearly all of its employees are following its COVID vaccine requirements. Employees were required to get the first dose of the vaccine by October 1st and the second by November 1st. 96% of UW Health employees got at least their first dose, while less than 4% filed a medical or religious exemption. That means 99.96% of the over 16,000 people are compliant with UW Health's COVID policy. Uh, you know, that feels really good. Uh, it didn't happen by accident. We spent a lot of time talking with folks, uh, trying to understand where they were coming from, uh, where we were coming from. Uh, and in the end, uh, I, I think really uh, that camaraderie that we have at UW Health, that value of, you know, let's take care of ourselves and our community. Let's keep our patients safe. Uh, it, it came through. SSN Health announced last week that 99.5% of its staff is vaccinated. The Supreme Court began its first in-person term since March of 2020 with plans to hear arguments on some of the most divisive issues of our time, including gun rights and abortion. Just last month, the court declined to weigh in on a restrictive Texas abortion law by a 5-4 to four split. Deborah Alfarone has more from the White House. Eight Supreme Court justices met Monday face to face for the beginning of the fall term without Justice Brett Kavanaugh, who joined in remotely after previously testing positive for COVID-19. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. Inside, they heard oral arguments for two cases, a groundwater rights dispute between Mississippi and Tennessee, and a challenge to the Armed Career Criminal Act. <laughs> Outside, protesters had other issues on their minds. Picketers called on the court to uphold Roe versus Wade, the 1973 ruling that made abortion a constitutional right. It follows a weekend of similar major demonstrations around the country. In December, justices will hear arguments on a Mississippi law that bans the practice after 15 weeks of pregnancy. The case is just one of several direct challenges to Roe versus Wade from Republican-led states. It's going to be a big term. Associate Dean of the George Washington University Law School, Alan Morrison, says the Mississippi case is a candidate for overturning the landmark abortion decision. This is not a case where they're trying to chip away a little bit. They're going for the whole thing. President Biden has called on Congress to pass a law to protect abortion rights. And next month, he is expecting a highly anticipated report from his commission on the Supreme Court for possible reforms, including expanding its size and term limits for justices. Over the next few weeks, the Supreme Court is also set to take on a major guns rights case over New York's concealed carry laws, as well as a religious rights lawsuit regarding Maine's ban on using public funds for religious schools. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. 
Wisconsin wildlife officials are limiting the statewide quota for an upcoming wolf hunt. At 130, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources made the announcement this afternoon, deciding on a drastically lower number compared to the 300 wolf quota the DNR board approved in August. The department itself has the power to make the final decision, though, and, uh, and settled on 130 after hunters blew past a quota of 119 wolves earlier this year by killing 218 wolves in just four days in February. Governor Evers was in Seymour, that's outside of Green Bay, this morning to announce a $4.5 million expansion in Wisconsin's dairy industry. Agripur, one of the world's largest dairy suppliers, will be building a new $168 million state-of-the-art cheese factory in Little Chute. The co-op will be eligible for up to $4.5 million in business tax credits over the next four years based on meeting hiring and capital goals. State Senator Lena Taylor of Milwaukee is running for lieutenant governor. Taylor, who has been in the legislature for 18 years, is the first Democrat to enter the race to replace Mandela Barnes, who is running for U.S. Senate. Taylor's campaign theme is forward. So for me, I stand here today to rise to the occasion, to help our state, our people move forward and to flourish. And I thank the people of Wisconsin for allowing me to serve, and I thank the governor for his leadership, and I hope that we can move forward together. Three Republicans have announced they are running for lieutenant governor. Patrick Teston, a state senator from Stevens Point, Ben Vocal, a former aide to Senator Ron Johnson, and David Varnum, the mayor of Lancaster. If you're driving around on the west side and your trip takes a little longer than expected, that's Vision Zero trying to make our streets a little safer. Sections of Whitney Way and Mineral Point Road were the ones affected today, getting their speed limit reduced from 30 miles an hour to 25. And there are other changes that go along with the slowdown. Down. There's new buffered bike lanes, so there's a little bit more space in between the bike lane and the car driving lane. There's some new crosswalks, some enhanced markings for crosswalks. And in case you were wondering, the slowdown seemed to be working. Data from the east from East Washington Avenue at the Yahara River from May of 2020 shows 8% of inbound vehicles and 10% of outbound vehicles were driving 40 miles an hour or faster at the bridge, compared with 1% inbound and less than 1% outbound this past May. Well, still to come at four, it's called COP26, but it has nothing to do with law enforcement. When we come back, it has everything to do with climate change. We'll have more on COP26 when Live at 4 continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at 4. Join Dr. Ashish Ravel to learn about the most common types of injuries in young athletes and how to prevent them. This workshop is a must for any parent of a student athlete. As you remodel, don't toss your cabinets and appliances. Donate to Habitat Restore. Give your items a second life while proceeds build Habitat for Humanity homes. Donate today. Habitat Restore Dane County. You know your gutters are full of gunk, and you know you need to deal with it eventually. With LeafGuard, you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how LeafGuard's patented design channels rainwater into your gutters while leaves, seeds, and other debris just roll off, leaving them clog-free, guaranteed. We looked at several different types of gutters, and we knew that we had problems with leaves. We have lots of trees around our house and I'm the one who goes and cleans out the gutters, and uh, I wanted to eliminate that hassle in the fall of cleaning the gutters, and LeafGuard has done a wonderful job. Love to hear that. Right now, your LeafGuard brand gutter system comes with some great money-saving extras. Order now and get free installation labor, free financing for 12 months, and call before this program is over and get a $100 Visa gift card with your new LeafGuard gutter system. Don't wait. Call now to schedule your free estimate. 
Join Anytime Fitness for just $1 now through October 12th. Anytime Fitness gives you 24-7 support with expert coaching on all things fitness, nutrition, and everything in between. Now through October 12th, join for just $1. Visit anytimefitness.com today. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound, your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Feeling trapped by your expensive cell phone plan? Here's the key. Switch to Consumer Cellular. Keep your phone and number with the same great coverage as the big carriers. Escape to a no-contract $20 a month plan with talk, text, and data. It's easy to connect with our award-winning customer support team. No sleight of hand is required. Call, go online, or visit Target to get your new SIM card or phone today. Hi, I'm Dr. Shish Ravel with the Ortho Team Clinic at Stoughton Health. We hope you can join us for our upcoming event on preventing injuries in young athletes. Welcome back. Beaches remain closed for miles in Southern California following a massive oil spill. It is threatening property and wildlife, especially birds. At least 126,000 gallons of oil began pouring into the Pacific Ocean over the weekend from an underwater pipeline about four and a half miles offshore, sending slicks of oil from Huntington Beach to Dana Point Harbor. Amplify Energy, which owns the pipeline, shut the line down and is pledging full cooperation with the cleanup effort. Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are experiencing major outages today. Some users can't get onto the Facebook website. Instagram and WhatsApp are accessible, but they can't load new content or send messages. It's unclear what caused the outage. Facebook says it's working as quickly as possible to get things back to normal. The 2021 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to two U.S.-based scientists. Doctors David Julius and Artem Potapushin won the Nobel Prize for their discoveries of receptors in the human body for temperature and touch. The discoveries will be vital to the development of treatments for chronic pain. Julius is a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. Dr. Potapushin is a professor at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute in La Jolla, California. Some smart people. Well, Dave Chappelle has a new comedy special coming in Netflix. Dave Chappelle, The Closer, premieres tomorrow. Netflix and Chappelle patched up their rocky relationship earlier this year when the two sides agreed to a new streaming agreement for Chappelle's show. Ready or not, the holiday shopping season has begun. Amazon has rolled out some of its Black Friday deals earlier than ever. This morning, the online retailer announced deep discounts across every category for select days in October and November. It will also add new deals for customers throughout the next two months. Airlines are bleeding money and it's probably not going to stop anytime soon. The International Air Transport Association is forecasting that airlines will lose nearly 52 billion dollars this year. The group also expects airlines to lose 11 and a half billion dollars next year before finally returning to profitability in 2023. The new report updates losses from 2020 higher to nearly 138 billion dollars. That happened during the same year the federal government spent 25 billion dollars bailing out airlines impacted by the pandemic. Stocks took a tumble today after Facebook lost 4.9% of its value. The Dow Industrials fell 323 points, closing at 34,002. The Nasdaq dropped 311 points. The S&P 500 was off 56. Don't look at your 401k tonight, folks. <laughs> Extreme weather events are increasing in intensity and frequency around the globe. Once again, world leaders will come together for COP26 to find solutions to keep the climate crisis from getting worse. Some climate advocates are skeptical that real progress will be made. Becky Anderson explains. Devastating floods, raging wildfires, monstrous hurricanes. Extreme weather events are increasing in intensity and frequency before our eyes. 
Signs that the planet is warming at an alarming rate and it's affecting our lives and our livelihoods. World leaders will again come together to address the climate crisis and the larger issue of what is being done to prevent it from getting worse. This year's event, COP26. The United Nations has put on the Climate Change Summit for nearly three decades. This conference of the parties is attended by countries that signed the UN's Framework Convention on Climate Change in 1994. The 12 day event will be held in Glasgow in Scotland and is hosted by the UK and Italy. More than 190 world leaders are expected to attend, along with tens of thousands of negotiators, government representatives, businesses and citizens. To secure global net zero emissions by mid-century and keep 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming compared to pre-industrial temperatures within reach, countries must meet their emissions reductions targets, adapt to protect communities and natural habitats, and they must mobilise finance. Countries have to deliver on raising at least $100 billion in climate finance each year. Something that was agreed to more than a decade ago in 2010 when the UNFCCC developed the Green Climate Fund and worked together to deliver on these goals. The organisers say the talks will be the world's best last chance to get the runaway climate crisis under control. And time is running out. We've seen this movie before. Big conferences year after year where leaders commit to implementing policies, yet little is done. Our leaders' intentional lack of action is a betrayal towards all present and future generations. The people in power cannot claim that they are trying because they are clearly not. While some climate advocates are sceptical about the possibility for real change, after so many parts of the world have been impacted by recent extreme weather events, event leaders are hopeful that this time the goals are attainable. Becky Anderson, CNN, Abu Dhabi. Let's hope they make some progress. Well, a quarter of all moviegoers are Hispanic, though there are very few Hispanic stars. Superstar Rita Moreno is one of them, and we'll get her thoughts about Hollywood and Hispanics coming up after Dana's first worn forecast. Here at TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411. The time is right to do something nice for your home. Why not replace your gutters with LeafGuard, the only gutter system that has earned the good housekeeping seal of approval. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. LeafGuard's patented one-piece seamless design keeps leaves and debris out, which means no more clogs. Guaranteed. LeafGuard carries a lifetime warranty, so your home's foundation will be protected forever, and our customers couldn't be happier. They're the best. I don't have to worry about the, the gutters getting clogged up with the seeds, the branches, the, the dirt, the, the roof sheddings, and it's just one less worry for me. And right now, save big on your new LeafGuard brand gutter system and get some incredible extras. Order now and get free installation labor, free financing for 12 months, and call before this program is over and get a $100 Visa gift card with your new LeafGuard gutter system. Call now to schedule your free estimate. I'm not getting through the pandemic just to end up with the flu. I asked for FluZone High Dose Quadrivalent. It's the number one use 
first flu vaccine for people 65 and older. Flu Zone High Dose Quadrivalent is the only vaccine approved by the FDA for superior flu protection in adults 65 plus. I'm not letting my guard down. Flu Zone High Dose Quadrivalent isn't for people who've had a severe allergic reaction to any flu vaccine or vaccine component, including eggs or egg products. Tell your healthcare professional if you've ever experienced severe muscle weakness after receiving a flu shot. People with weakened immune systems, including those receiving therapies that suppress the immune system, may experience lower immune responses. Vaccination may not protect everyone. Side effects include pain, redness, and or swelling where you got the shot, muscle ache, headache, and general discomfort. Other side effects may occur. All flu shots are not the same. I raise my game with Flu Zone High Dose Quadrivalent. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for Flu Zone High Dose Quadrivalent. Well, take a look at this. Visitors to Dubai's Expo 2020 are discovering a surreal water feature that bathes attendees in colorful waterfalls. The Expo, delayed a year by the pandemic, opened this weekend. Surreal is a must-see attraction that features towering towers more than four feet high. Standing beneath the towering installation, visitors feel as if they're about to be engulfed in a waterfall when suddenly the water seemingly disappears beneath their feet. The waterfall runs to the music written by the composer of the theme music for the Game of Thrones and Westworld. That is so cool. <laughs> I'd love to see I that. I can't figure it out. Yeah, I can't really either, but it looks very cool. You don't get wet. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, if you need an excuse to have Taco Tuesday on a Monday, here it is. Today is National Taco Day. This beloved and delicious food is honored each year on October 4th. Americans ate over 4 billion tacos last year. That equals an estimated 490,000 miles of tacos. If you're Curious, Taco Bell is offering a free crunchy taco if you sign up for their rewards app. But we have even better than we that. We have better today. than that. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Hi. I have uh, some beautiful beef and shrimp tacos right now from Taqueria Jalapeno. Uh, everything smells really good. It so does you guys, smell really good. You guys good. are going to have to dive in at some point because it smells pretty bomb. And we have extra over there, I know. The staff behind the scenes. I always like to feed the crew. Dennis oh. and Justin, come over here. You're oh, yeah. working They're hard. They're going to have to get some. Well, Go ahead. They're going to be, be pretty tricky. excited, too. There's, there's yeah. some, some hot sauce mixed over. So oh, you there's guys some hot sauce in here? That, no, 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 no. There's extra over there, but these these are nice. Things. Come you can here. Get, Justin oh. doesn't want to be on camera. Come here. You can do it. <laughs> are you going to take, the whole, take the whole thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I take the whole plate. Mm. Thank you, Dana. Yes. Those are actually really good. Those are pretty awesome. They smell wonderful. Some extra lime on there, too. So it's pretty nice. Taco Monday. <laughs> it's also National Vodka Day. Hey, if only it were National Tequila Day. <laughs> 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 that is water. Fantastic. Take it away. All right, we're expecting uh, an overall cool evening for us, but the trend for the next few days, guys, feels uh, pretty mild for early October. We'll take a closer look at your full 10-day forecast right after the break. off a complete pair frame and lenses wisconsin vision see more life everyone remembers the moment they heard you have cancer how their world stopped and when they found a way to face it for some this is where their keytruda story begins keytruda a breakthrough immunotherapy that may treat certain cancers one of those cancers is advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer, where Keytruda is approved to be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment if you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene. Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion or memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever,
fever, rash, itching, or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have had radiation to your chest area or a nervous system condition. Today, Keytruda is FDA approved to treat 16 types of advanced cancer and is being studied in hundreds of clinical trials, exploring ways to treat even more types of cancer. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. See the different types of cancer Keytruda is approved to treat at Keytruda.com and ask your doctor if Keytruda can be part of your story. First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The newsroom, just a bunch of buzzards right now trying to get over to those tacos <laughs> and feed on them. Overall, for the next few days, we're going to stay a little cloudy outside. In fact, not expecting to see a lot of sunshine throughout uh, the rest of the work week. Temperatures will trend a little bit above average, just a pretty comfortable stretch for us. And overall, a little unsettled. With that cloud coverage, it's going to come along with some light shower chances, better rain opportunities towards the end of the week. Now, right now, it does feel like a little misty outside. Our radar picking up a few isolated showers passing through as we have a live look over Madison, really just a cloudy sky currently with the rain chances holding off well to the east and in Michigan, even where we're seeing some steadier showers overnight, mostly cloudy temperatures will only drop to the upper fifties for overnight lows pretty close to our dew point. So plan on some patchy fog to start off the day tomorrow for Tuesday afternoon. Again, variably cloudy skies with high temperatures hovering pretty close to 70 degrees, so just a little bit above average, not too warm outside, uh, but turning a little up for us for early October. We'll start off Wednesday with this cloud coverage yet again. Temperatures in the upper 50s for overnight lows and yet again afternoon highs in the mid to low 70s with some patchy fog possible for us for early Wednesday. So very similar forecasts for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Beyond that, looking at our six to 10 day outlook, our rain chances trending above average for most of Wisconsin and thankfully for the first time in quite a while, seeing an above average chance off to the west where they could uh, certainly use a uh, a little bit of rain coming through for us, but very likely that they're going to have some showers, uh, some rounds of rain for early October. This area again under quite a drought status and and having that rain come through right now won't make a huge difference in the drought status, but still just every little bit at this point certainly does help. Temperature wise in our six to 10 days still very likely will be trending above average looking ahead to the middle of October. This time of year we should start to see our temperatures falling to the mid to low 60s for afternoon highs and, and we're really anchoring closer to 70 in the low 70s for much of the extended 10 days. So not not too warm outside, but still above average for us. And the overnight low is turning a little warmer. That's going to halt a little bit of that color change that we, we would like to start seeing this time of year. 71 the high for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies, still pretty mild outside. As we look ahead through the rest of our 10 day Wednesday in the mid 70s, mid to low 70s, continuing through the rest of the work week with those shower chances really picking up for us Thursday and for Friday. Saturday will be breezy outside with possibly a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Notice those temperatures on Saturday though, yet again in the upper 70s. We'll see shower chances looking ahead to the start of next week. A few more opportunities for a little bit of rain to build in. And by the middle of next week, we're still trending in the mid to low 70s. So still holding on to that pretty comfortable weather for afternoon highs. Overnight lows will be trending in the 50s also. So we're really not concerned about this rain transitioning to anything else just yet. Uh, temperature wise, we're, we're sitting in a pretty comfortable spot and also not too concerned with those overnight lows of any sort of uh, frost concerns for for the next several weeks. We're going to start that or continue that steady transition into fall looking through that 10 day. It's, it's funny to hear you say frost with the weather we've been having. I know it's uh, been quite a warm stretch. Like Susan said, this was a weekend you could be out in shorts, even <laughs> though it was the first weekend of October. It's been a warm summer. That's it for has, sure. Yes. All right, Dana. Thank you. A conversation now with Hollywood legend Rita Moreno on a subject she knows well. Surveys show that one quarter of U.S 
moviegoers are Hispanic or Latino, but actors from those groups have played only about 2% of leading roles in the past 13 years. That's according to a recent study. Moreno, who's an Oscar, Emmy, Grammy, and Tony winner, spoke to Lilia Luciano for Hispanic Heritage Month. after becoming the first Latina to win an Oscar. Rita Moreno in West Side Story. Rita Moreno is still fighting to have her voice heard in Hollywood. Little Puerto Rican girl whom nobody thought much of at MGM with a contract. In her documentary, she looks back at her legendary career, but also at the toll of being repeatedly typecast. I already speak English. It took a name, the universal ethnic accent, because I never knew, because nobody cared, what to do with uh, these ethnic parts. We caught up with the icon at the University of California, Berkeley Botanical Garden. I was doing American Indian Girls. How do you know my name? With this kind of slightly Puerto Rican accent, because I didn't know what and to nobody do. And nobody noticed. And it's like nobody noticed. You touch me. Even Moreno's Oscar-winning performance wasn't enough to catapult her career. So she turned to a top female talent agent for help. And I said, well, I have a dilemma. I can't seem to get uh, any work other than some offers of gang movies and doing people with accents yet again. Stereotypes. And dark makeup stereotypes. The agent wouldn't take her as a client. And she was very plain, very direct. And she said, you don't have what it takes to be a star, and I only handle stars. I don't know how I didn't burst into tears then, but I guess I had, at that point in my life, just heard so many terrible things about me and to me that I just hung on. Moreno didn't make another movie for the next seven years before returning to the spotlight. You said the kids were gonna have a different mother. Who is she? In film, Broadway, and television. I'm a Puerto Rican. For Moreno, the journey has come full circle. This December, she'll appear in Steven Spielberg's remake of West Side Story as both an actress and an executive producer. It was done with love and profound respect for the Hispanic community. There's certainly more Latino representation. Damn tootin'. <laughs> I think there's a big effort, uh, and I don't want to completely dismiss these steps that um, Hollywood has made. But you know what? It has a long way to go. Wear your nationality like a flag. Be proud of it. I mean, she really fought the fight. She really walked so we could run. She did. Well, that means everything to me, everything to me. I want always to be someone that they can respect and look up to, who tried. I fought the good fight. That's for damn sure. Marina Moreno, 89 years old. What an inspiration. She's incredible. Yeah, she really is. Well, coming up next on Live for Hispanic businesses were hard hit by COVID. We'll tell you about some help that they're getting. And then coming up next hour at 5, Ben Pfaff is running for Ron Kine's seat. Our Naomi Coles explains why this race will mean a lot to people nationwide, not just here in Wisconsin. What makes new Salon Pass Arthritis Gel so good for arthritis pain? Salon Pass contains the most prescribed topical pain relief ingredient. It's clinically proven, reduces inflammation, and comes in original prescription strength. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. Attic Angel Community has earned a reputation as the one and only. But what's so memorable to the people who live here? It's good local heart. Interesting friends. The view from my window. Continuing education. The food. The amazing art studio. Happy hour. There are many reasons to love Attic Angel community, but there's just one Attic Angel. McGann Furniture in Baraboo has a question for you. Have you ever bought a piece of furniture in a box and then had to put it together yourself? We know it's not fun. At McGann's, everything is professionally inspected and assembled before pickup or delivery. Goodbye headaches, and there's no extra charge for assembly. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. 
Stop in soon and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original window. It's bone chilling. Folks, there's no need to be afraid of old windows. Just call Feldco for 50% off. Right now at Feldco, get 50% off windows. Plus, no interest for one year. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. I tried a laxative that's both gentle and fast. Great tasting Dogalax Soft Chews works naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. Puts you comfortably in control. Dogalax Soft Chews. This year, News 3 Now won over 15 Wisconsin Broadcasters Association awards. Certified as the most accurate weather forecast in Madison. And now honored with two Edward R. Murrow Awards, including the National Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Over the decades, we received countless honors, and our commitment to you remains the same. We are committed to bring you the highest standard of journalism day in and day out. News 3 Now, honored to be recognized as one of the top stations in America. Here's a wide look at downtown Madison on this cloudy Monday, but it appears the sun is out. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything <laughs> today. A little something for everybody. Well, shouldering both pandemic troubles and a systemic lack of access to capital, hundreds of Hispanic-owned businesses are getting a much-needed $50 million boost. As part of our coverage during National Hispanic Heritage Month, Elise Preston explains why the financial help is hoping to grow legacies for generations to come. Opening the doors to her Peruvian restaurant, Claudia's Kitchen, was a lifelong dream for Claudia Baroa. I came from a, a poor family, but now I think having the restaurant too is to share my family recipes. But sharing those dishes hasn't been easy. The family's New York City restaurant opened during the pandemic last summer. The week that we opened, two restaurants closed on this block. So, it, you know, we were super scared. A 2020 Stanford University report found 86% of Latino-owned businesses experienced immediate negative effects of the pandemic, and they were disproportionately less likely to receive government help like PPP loans. Why do you think that is? Uh, I know particularly for the PPP, um, our bank was putting priority to bigger loans. Claudia's got help from PepsiCo Foundation, which is investing $50 million into Hispanic-owned restaurants, bodegas, and butcher shops through its program, Juntos Crecemos. Together, we grow. These are places where mothers and fathers earn their living, but also raise their children. And so those legacies are lost when we do lo lose Hispanic businesses. Some of the money will also go toward business development, like building websites and delivery apps. A lot of uh, Hispanic and black business may not be represented on those platforms. This is the dough sheeter. Cloudy's Kitchen bought a machine to speed up production of their award-winning empanadas, feeding their customers, community, and legacy. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. The program will continue to award grants and provide business support over the next five years. To be eligible, Hispanic-owned businesses must be less than three years old and bring in less than a million dollars in revenue. Well, you want to make money at the box office? Release a horror film. Yeah, apparently they did, and it went to number one. Film critic Will Loper has all of the numbers and suggestions of what to watch. That's coming up next in the Loper Report. Do you feel that? Do you feel the kind of the chill in the air? I love it. The sugar maple dancing by. 
It's going to fall any minute. We just need our pumpkin spice lattes because it's officially fall, everyone. We're back at the Bruce Company. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I know it's your favorite season. It is my favorite season. I love the color of the light. I love the color of the plants. I love that the temperatures are cold enough to kill off the insects. Oh, yes. It's all good. Bingo. No more mosquitoes. I know. Perfect time of year. Yes. All right, so you've been looking at the same annuals, the perennials, for the last how many months? It's time to reinvent your space, people. Absolutely. I know your pots are looking a little tatty because mine are. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So pull out those, you know, sort of tired looking coleus or those bedraggled begonias <laughs> and put in some plants that actually like this kind of weather. Yep. So we're talking about pansies, we're talking about mums, ornamental kale, ornamental peppers, all that kind of stuff that will do well in this kind of weather. Pop in a couple pumpkins, and you're good to go until Thanksgiving. All sizes. I mean, you have white ones, you have green ones, you have everything. Ones for carving, ones with warts, just some that are just simply decorative. So, yeah, lots. Lots, lots of warts here. All right, Fall Fest. It's happening again this year. It's such a loved event. We're so glad you guys are having it back. It is one of our favorites. So, Family Fall Fest is the... Ninth. ninth, thank you. The 9th of October from 11 to 2, and what we have are the petting zoo is coming. We'll have a face painter, we'll have balloon guy, there'll be pumpkin painting, all sorts of free activities for the community. So bring your kids by, there'll be treats. It's gonna be a really fun time. Do not miss it. Kick off a wonderful fall festival Absolutely. weekend, right? Yep. Good to see you. Happy Good to see fall. you too. It's my favorite season. I'm Emmy Fink. I'm Lisa Briggs. It's your favorite, and you're buzzed in a mouth. It is said that the eyes are the windows into the soul, which begs the question, can a window have a soul? At Renewal by Anderson, we think so. When it's a window forged from fibrous and over 100 years of refined craftsmanship, the essence of who we are transforms into a superior, stunningly beautiful window. So yes, a window can have a soul. For a limited time, take advantage of this great offer. Find out why we are the better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. Your heart is at the heart of everything you do. And if you have heart failure, there's Entresto. Entresto has proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or alaskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Is it looking too bad right now? The Beltline East and Westbound actually uh, pretty smooth. We aren't seeing any major delays and, and downtown Madison right now also looks well. For Janesville and the interstate in Rock County, no major delays either north and southbound. In fact, from the Beltline to Janesville, sitting right at 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Middleton to Sauk City. And the same goes for downtown to Sun Prairie this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. All right, Gina, thank you. Would you pay $10,000 for a cookie? <laughs> well, that's what at least one eBay seller is asking for a limit. Pokemon Oreo that features the rare and mythical Mew character, which for fans is like a Pokemon unicorn, I told. <laughs> Others are asking top dollars for entire packages of these sweet treats. So pay attention. Ten grand <laughs> yeah, for <wow>. one Oreo. <laughs> well, this week on the Loper Report, somebody finally knocked Shang-Chi. Is that right? I don't, what is it? Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi off the top spot. I'm just, <laughs> you haven't seen I, it, I take I'm it. <laughs> so uh, what is that? Well, Been laughing. Another superhero movie, or is it a villain movie? You decide. Take it away, Will. Hey, Mark and Susan, Venom Let There Be Carnage opened to a monstrous 90 million opening weekend, setting a new pandemic era record for opening weekends ahead of Black Widow's 80 million opening in July and Shang-Chi's 75 million opening last month. You live in my body, you live by my rules. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it so I can bring it again. You are a loser. We meet back up with Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, still trying to get along with Venom, the alien black goo that's taken over his body. Catch up. Excuse me. Yummy. 
when serial killer Cletus, played by Woody Harrelson, gets an alien symbiote of his own, Venom and Eddie have to learn to work together to stop him. Where you going? That is a red one. You need to come out right now. Much like the first Venom, this sequel is a bit of a mess, but it's also completely aware of the kind of movie it is. It plays up the B-movie cheesiness, and if you're a fan of the first Venom, you know exactly what to expect, and we'll find more of it in Let There Be Carnage. I'm not a crazy man. On video on demand platforms, new to rent is the film The Card Counter. You count cards, right? I'm not that smart. But you win. You need someone to stake you. That's what you do, you run a stable. I'm always looking for a good thoroughbred. <laughs> Oscar Isaac stars as gambler William Tell, who attempts to help a young man avoid a dark path by taking him under his wing. He's a mystery. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. On streaming services, on Disney Plus, Black Widow will now be free to watch for subscribers on Wednesday. At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be and who you are. And on HBO Max Thursday, the second season of Craftopia premieres. That's not supposed to happen. This is about to be one heck of a competition. If you're a baking show fanatic, I have good news. We've got two new baking shows coming this week as we all wait for the third episode of The Great British Baking Show. This is baking impossible. We do crazy stuff with cake. New on Netflix Wednesday is the series Baking Impossible. They'll bake and build incredible engineered mouth-watering marvels that will be put to the ultimate test. Power drills are brought into the kitchen as engineers and bakers compete to make jaw-dropping cake creations. I thought it was a tin. Oh my gosh. On Hulu Thursday is Baker's Dozen. We want to find the best baker out there. Can an avid home baker go up against a professionally trained baker and win it all? And on Thursday we get the next season of the dating show Sexy Beasts on Netflix. This could be the beginning of an epic love story. Or it could be a disaster. <laughs> the reality series has people dressing as creatures, so only their personality factors in while on a date. The mermaid is my spirit animal. And a lot of people think that they're fake. I think they're very real. real. Yeah. We're live at four. I'm Will Loper. <laughs> I missed the first season. Yeah, yeah. There's a second season. I mean, the premise is interesting. I have to check that out. But the baking shows, you had me at the baking shows. I love those. That looks like fun. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. I love the baking shows. Yeah. Well, <laughs> check your forecast coming up. Right, your grandmother's right, a baker. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, restoring normal and natural functionality where it counts most. Call now and receive an ultrasound. Your initial consultation, all for free. Call Peak Performance for Men today. TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411.
At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Coats for Kids needs kid-sized winter coats. At least 6,000 of them to make sure every child in our area stays warm. Please help us reach our goal. Donate gently used kid-sized winter coats to Clinky Cleaners. They'll be cleaned and sent to the Community Action Coalition for distribution. Don't have a kid's coat to give? Go to Channel 3000 and use the Amazon wish list to donate. Track our progress on News 3 Now at Magic 98. Then donate to Coats for Kids. We do have a few little isolated showers rotating through the area. Everywhere else under some cloud coverage for us. It looks like the sun might be trying to peek through a little bit on our Edgewater Skycam. Temperature wise, we're holding pretty close to 70 degrees across the board. So uh, a comfortable evening, but uh, certainly mild outside for this time of year. And as temperatures tonight fall to only the upper 50s, pretty close to our dew points, do plan on some patchy fog to start off your Tuesday. We'll be right back. 